What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Pages Global here back with another video. And in this one, Matt Patricia has been released by the Detroit Lions. And as we all know, he was a longtime coach for the New England Patriots. Actually, believe it or not, it was 14 total seasons that he was with New England. And six of those 14 seasons, which is from 2012 to 2017, Patricia actually served as the Patriots' defensive coordinator. Also, ironically, since then, the Patriots have not had a specific defensive coordinator. We've had Gerard Mayo taking over at times. We've had Steve Belichick, which is, of course, Coach Belichick's, our head coach. His son, who also teaches our, believe, uh, I believe, our safeties, He's taken over at that position at times. Belichick himself has taken over at times. So we have not in total had a distinct defense coordinator. As we all know, after Patricia was fired, the Patriots had brought in Greg Schiano, and that kind of caused a little bit of controversy between some of the New England Patriots players. Then ironically, during that same offseason that he was hired, before offseason programs even started, Greg Schiano decided to step away to kind of just deal with his family and family issues and just being with his family. And since then, the Patriots defense has not had a coordinator. And I bring up this topic because should the Patriots bring back Matt Patricia? Due to Patricia being fired by the Detroit Lions uh, owner, I was about to say coaching staff, but owner, it brings up the question on should Belichick bring him back? The Patriots could use some coaching in certain areas. Of course, they don't have a defensive coordinator. Is that a spot Belichick could potentially look to fill with his old friend? I mean, let's remember that this the, the, the relationship between the two, you know, Matt Patricia, Belichick, did not end badly. So there's no reason that a reunion could not happen. I mean, the Detroit Lions also got rid of their general manager in Bob Quinn, who ironically was also formerly with the New England Patriots. Now, personally, I never saw Matt Patricia as a head coach. You know, even as a defensive coordinator, I think that he had some issues from time to time. You know, certain areas where when he was our defensive coordinator, I just had to sit back and be like, what, what in God's name are we doing? Let's remember in that 2017 season, the Patriots defense was one of the last in the NFL and was a big reason why we lost Super Bowl 52 to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, part of that was coaching, but of course, also a big part of that was the personnel the Patriots had. And over the past couple of seasons, Matt Patricia has been a head coach with the Detroit Lions. There really has not been a single positive part to that team. Offense, defense, special teams. He's had some decent players come in. You know, former Patriot Trey Flowers, Jamie Collins. He has Matthew Stafford at quarterback, and I think Stafford is a very underrated quarterback. You had Darius Slay, who was one of the best corners, at least at the time, uh, for a few seasons there before we decided to ship him off to the Philadelphia Eagles. So there were definitely building blocks for him to work with. He just never did. And I think that just goes back to the statement that he just was not ready and maybe just not the type of coach that is ready to take over an entire team and take over that head coach responsibility. Now, while Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn were under the same belt with the Detroit Lions, the Detroit Lions went a total of 13 and 29 and 1. That is just bizarre. Over the past couple of seasons that Patricia has been the head coach, they've only won 13 games, lost 29, and tied one game. The Lions are in the midst of losing their third consecutive season. Third consecutive Hiring Patricia did nothing for the Detroit Lions except for put them back. He has a winning percentage of .314, which is far below what the former head coach for the Detroit Lions had, in which in 2017, the year that their former head coach, Jim uh, Cadwell or Caldwell, was fired and Patricia took over, he had a 9-7 and season in 2017 and had a 54.5 winning percentage in his games, which, believe it or not, was actually some of the best during the Lions head coaching uh, era, really. And of course, Patricia's firing does not come as I think a surprise to anyone. I'm honestly surprised it took the Lions owner 
to take this long to find Matt Patricia, which is probably a big reason why this team has not gone anywhere and will continue to not go anywhere because this owner does not seem like she knows what she's doing very much. Um, again, look, I get having faith in Patricia, your head coach, and that that is a good quality having an owner. But his winning percentage, just the facts that stand behind and what he's been doing as a coach, he has done nothing for your franchise. It shouldn't have taken you this long to get rid of him. But the Detroit Lions this season are mirrored in a two-game losing streak, which they have lost four of their past five games with double digits. Not to mention the fact that Matt Patricia alienated a big, big portion of that Detroit Lions locker room. I mean, for multiple seasons now, we've been hearing players not wanting to play for him, players speaking out against him. Players that play with the Detroit Lions while Matt Patricia has been under the definition of a head coach have not been good. Players are not happy with him, and they do not want to have any, anything to do with Patricia. And of course, being a defensive coordinator, you would think, well, at least the the you know um, Lions defense would at least be somewhat manageable. Over the past two seasons, it is not whatsoever. And currently this season, again, they are ranked as one of the worst in the NFL. So again, I ask, what has Patricia done for this franchise? All in all, that just bears down the question in what does Matt Patricia do now? Because there's zero way Matt Patricia just gets another head coaching job. He's had zero success. The stats stand by that. The lack of love by players stands by that. He's not going to get another head coaching job, at least not for many, many, many seasons. That brings on the question, does Belichick decide to give him a call, bring on his old friend? Ultimately, I can't give the straight answer on what's going to happen, but from my own personal opinion, I say no. Look, The Patriots the past couple of seasons have had a pretty stellar defense. The first year that Patricia left, the Patriots went ahead and they won a Super Bowl. Now, yes, for a little while that defense was shaky, uh, but that was really just due to the fact of, you know, coaching, uh, Patricia leaving, of course, that's what I mean by coaching, them not having a distinct defensive coordinator and some personnel issues. But as that year went on, that defense was stellar. 2019, the Patriots had the number one overall ranked defense. And even right now, despite how they're playing, they are still one of the better defenses in the league. And again, I think some of our reasons do come down to personnel issues yet again. Whatever the Patriots are doing defensive coordinator wise, they're doing it well. And I think it just proves, you know, without having a distinct defensive coordinator, it doesn't mean that your team is going to flop. And I think that was a concern that a lot of Patriots fans, including myself in the beginning of this, had some concerns about. How is this defense going to perform without a true distinct defensive coordinator? And they've proved that it's fine. Now, guys, NFL football does continue on this week, which does have a few surprise teams at the top of the standings, and you might not be able to be at a game at all this year, but you can still get in with all the action at Bet Online. Now, no matter how schedules change or players that change, BetOnline is going that extra mile to make sure that you get in on every game imaginable this season with the fastest updated odds in the industry. And there are always more options to wager than anywhere online. All you have to do is head to BetOnline today and take advantage of all of their great mid-season bonuses, offers, and contests. Again, that is BetOnline, your online sportsbook experts. Look, over the past few seasons, before Patricia was fired, of course, while he was still with the New England Patriots, um... He hadn't been terrible. You know, the Patriots' defense hadn't always ranked last in the league. There were times that they were still ranked towards the top of the NFL. You know, he didn't do a terrible job at defensive coordinator, but I think a big issue did come down to inconsistency. That's something that I did see with Patricia throughout the majority of the time was inconsistency, some terrible play calling, and all in all, just couldn't rely on him game in and game out. I don't think that hiring Patricia solves any of the New England Patriots' defensive problems whatsoever. He does know the system. He he knows the defense for the majority. But, but, at this point with the New England Patriots' defense, the issue does not come down to coaching. The defense does not come down to scheme. And I think we've seen that. We've especially seen that over the past couple of seasons. Again, last year, the Patriots' defense was the best defense overall. It's because of the pieces we lost. It's because of the, the players that opted out. It's because of the deficits at personnel that this Patriots' defense is not performing up to par. It doesn't have to do with coaching. And honestly, I prefer to keep the coaching, whether that is Steve Belichick, whether that is Gerard Mayo, and continue to have them get comfortable with this defense 
and then take over that role of defensive coordinator. Because personally, I have seen a difference from when Patricia to uh, when Patricia was the Patriots' uh, our defensive coordinator versus the defensive coordinator we have now, which technically is no one, but again, switching between Belichick, Steve Belichick, and um, Gerard Mayo. And I like what I have seen. And while the Patriots' defense and scheme is still very much similar to what it was a few years ago when Patricia was the defensive coordinator, it's not exactly what it was. He is a few years out of uh, this franchise, so things have changed a little bit scheme-wise with what the defense is doing. And what we have seen from him with the Detroit Lions just does not make me comfortable whatsoever. It's not a need. Look, if he came in as some you know positional coach like linebackers or, or defensive line or something like that, all for it. But as for a defensive coordinator, I'm easily going to pass on this one. But wanted to know your guys' thoughts on this. Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. Really appreciate you guys for watching this video, especially if you got to the end. You are a GOAT. So make sure you comment a GOAT in the comment section below so I know exactly who watched this video through. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.